Okay, so we are back again in Minecraft. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos of this because this mod pack is extremely fun. If you guys don't remember last episode, we went ahead and we made this thing. Um, yeah, it's a little bit further back and it's a, a little bit better looking than the last episode because I have been busy since the last episode. Mainly what I did was I went ahead and made our everything look spiffy. Look at this, nice spiffy walls, nice spiffy glowstone for lighting. Everything is spiffy, everything looks spiffy. Back here, we got more spiffy. Look at this. Smoky quartz, all right, nice, good, good everything. Okay, it looks good. I don't know what to do with the ceiling yet. I'll figure that out, but it's all very spiffy. We got a bucket of Ethereum, we got our obelisk, we got ourselves our kale factor, and this kale factor is how we make Vintium dust, which is very nice, very nice. Now, I want to show you something. Very important. It's very cool. Very epic. I kind of just brushed through all of it really fast. You can pause the video and take a look at it if you want, or you could be surprised when I show you how awesome we are. So first thing I'd like to show you is this right here. This is octuple compressed cobblestone. Okay, and this octuple compressed cobblestone has an EMC value of 43 million 46,721. If we come into here, this transmutation table, as you can see, we have 790 million EMC. We come over to here, we have infinite EMC stack. It's so big that it doesn't even know how to handle it. It's it it, it can't it, it it can't handle it. We have in, we have infinite EMC from this machine right here. This guy right here is my answer matter relay, and this answer matter relay is how I power this guy, the the Swift Wolf's render gale. I'll show you what that does in a moment, but before I do that, it's time to look at our armor. Now this armor is something a little bit special. It's stronger than diamond. It is red matter armor. This was made from Project E. Take a look here. Project E, the thing we've been doing. To look at it. Red matter is made from obviously red matter and dark matter. And dark matter hel helmet is just made from regular dark matter, which is very easy since we already made that, since we already got all that set up last episode, and we have enough EMC to make a full set. This episode, I would like to increase this armor set to its next level by the use of these gales and other rings and other ideals. And then I would also like to create better magic items. Now, some of the other players on here have also upgraded. They've gotten stronger, they've gotten faster, they've gotten better, okay? For instance, one of our favorite players, John, he has increased his different effects. He no longer has fire resistance, and his strength has gone up by one. The reason for this is because it turns out that I just gave him fire resistance randomly, and he never actually asked for it, so he got to rechoose. And two, because it turns out that the strength he had wasn't that strong, so I increased his strength by one. So now he's actually OP just like Shane is. And Shane is very OP. So we have to be careful. We have to be very careful. But luckily for us, this armor, full set, we come up here. If we go through our base and we let something attack us, I will tell you right now, we are almost indestructible. But I tested this out against John, and John was able to, with an iron sword, one-shot me through this. So, we need to increase our armor this time. We cannot die. We have to make sure that we are indestructible. If we are not indestructible, we will die, we will lose all our items, and life will be garbity gook. We have to be careful. So, take a look around. Take a look around. I don't think there's many animals. But if we jump down from here, yeah, no fall damage. I have really, I, I, am, I am immune to fall damage, and I will tell you why I'm immune to fall damage. This guy. This is the ring. This is what we will be using to increase our armor value, because as long as this thing has power, we can fly. I'm about to lose, I'm about to run out, and I just ran out of it, but yes, as long as we have that, we can fly. As you can tell, if I jump from a high location, I lose about half a heart. If I take damage from any mob, there will be a small chance for me to take uh, take damage at all, or it will just do nothing. Watch, let's go ahead and get hit by this uh, skeleton. 
Bear skelly skelly. Whack me. See? No damage. No damage. No damage. I'm taking nothing. Nothing. When it comes to being hit by projectiles or... Hey, random chance. Random chance. When it comes to being hit by projectiles or anything for that matter, this guy's extremely good. And as you can see, it has no, um... It has no durability. It is indestructible. Now, like I said before, we can still take fall damage, so we're not indestructible. And we can also... Oh, yeah, come at me. Look at that. Look at that. It's freaking perfect. We are... So mobs, we're immune to mobs. I'm, f I don't, I'm never going to die against mobs anymore. Or at least... Or at least not the normal ones. But I can still take damage from, uh, from players, so they can kill me. And I can still take damage from fall damage, so we need to increase our everything. So we'll start with the gem helmet, and we'll go ahead and first I'm going to put on the normal one so I can show you. This is it, normal helmet. Okay. And then we will add in our stuff. Evertide and soul. Boom, now we have the gem helmet. We also get back our Evertide amulet, which I really enjoy. This will give us night vision. As you can see, I have infinite night vision on. Um, very good, very helpful, very helpful. Of course, I can, um, I can shift F, uh, this and, um, turn it off so it's disabled, because we don't need night vision on at the moment. Next one we need is the gem chest plate. Uh, infernal armor is what it says. I, does it say on the other one? It doesn't. So I think this one gives us strong fire resistance. This is what's going to give us insane fire res. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and get a bucket of lava. And we will see what it does just with the chest plate by itself. Now, I need, I need a pickaxe, so we'll get the red morning star, which is technically a pickaxe. And right here, we'll go ahead and put down a bucket of lava. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> we need the U. We need the U. U and another. Okay, so we have the gem chest plate. This is infernal armor. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Actually, I'm going to have a bucket of water just in case. I really don't want to die here. So I go into here. And as you can see, immunity to fire. We now have infinite fire resistance. These are the gravity leggings. And you'll soon be able to see what we need. We need a black hole band and a watch of flowing time. We have a watch of flowing time. We don't need water anymore. And the black hole band. Where the hell is the black hole band? I guess I don't have the black hole band. I guess I forgot to make something. Boom. Black hole band. Go ahead and... Boop, right in there. Now, you will soon see what this does because it is very, very useful. Go ahead and grab the gravity greaves. We're going to take everything off so you can see what they do by themselves. And as you can see... Did they increase our jump height or was it speed that they increased? I don't remember. Oh, yeah! Super fall! I can just fall down really fast. Yeah, that's why I press shift and I fall really fast. You, 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 you. That works. And then we have the gem boots. We also have step assist enabled. So, it gives me extreme speed. And I can fly. We have fire resistance, night vision, fall damage reduction. So, basically, immunity. We are super goddamn strong. <laughs> We're super defensively strong. Nope. Get away from my house. I'd rather have you blow up away. <laughs> what? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. They can't do anything. We're going to be getting strong. How do we get strong, you say? Ars Magica, baby. That's right. We're starting Ars Magica now. We have zero, count them, zero blue item right here. Blue. We need more blue. We need to get some green for better spell manipulation. And we need to get defense. We need to go down this route. Magic shield. But we need red items first. This is going to take a while. Shield is very important. Mana shield is also very important. But first, we got to go fast. 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 We have to get to level 12. We then need to fight the Earth Guardian, get better Earth Armor, because I am totally cool with Fire Res on my gem chest plate, but not as, not, not as much as I would like 
the earth armor. Uh, whatever. We'll have to make some re uh, relays. I found a swamp already so that we can do some epic fighting. And it should be fine. We get redstone. Boom. Boom. Fighting and then fighting the boss will give us blue orbs. Easy enough. This will allow us to get a few more orbs. And we should be able to then, I think I want to get, I, I just want to fill out some of this area. Frost, um, fill it out, get some of the defensive stuff. Just, just fill it all out with a really easy boss. And then we'll work our way up. And probably off camera, I will fight the other boss, maybe. I don't know. We go to the swamp. We fight the boss. Everything's cool. See that? Oh, my God. I love flying. So the swamp is in... Where did I, where did I put that waypoint? I put it near John's house. So this is John's house. And this is the perfect swamp. Yeah, the swamp is right next to which biome? And this biome. It's also extremely far away from our house. So we're going to go up there. And I will, I will see you when we get there. Okay, so we're now at the swamp location. Very nice. It's very epic. And we're going to... Oops, sorry. Do I have water walking? I do because of the boots. They allow me to hover... Oh, I guess not forever. They allow me to hover over the water. Er. Well, as long as I have flight enabled, then they allow me to hover over the water. But at any moment, I guess it could just, like, stop. But, yeah, yeah, I could fly over the water. Oh, nope, nope. I guess I'm in the water a bit. Okay, so... If you've ever seen any of my other Ars Magica times, you'll know exactly what I'm building. This is how we summon the Water Guardian. What I used to do is when I was playing and summoning the Water Guardian, I would always hide away from it. But in this instance, I don't need to hide. Because I'm already OP and it can't really damage me. I can fly, so it, it should be fine. Another problem is we have to wait for it to rain out. That's gonna suck balls because it it doesn't rain often. So we'll have to wait for it to rain. I'll probably just sit AFK on here until it does, so. Yeah, so I was sitting here for like 15 minutes and that took a really long time, so I decided to just talk about for it. I could I, I couldn't handle waiting anymore. <laughs> All right, so it's raining. We got our, we got the enemy. This is the water guardian. So he's the easiest guy to beat. He attacks you by throwing balls. Uh, he gives you a watery grave. So basically, I'd fall into the water if I couldn't fly. I'd fall in the water and die. Um, and we just have to kind of just shoot the right one. Now, luckily for me, we leveled up a bit. Our and our superpower allows us to make this a lot easier. Only problem is it's not really that strong because I'm only level 10. So this is kind of a weak battle. To be honest with you, I could easily make mana potions and uh, get the exact same level of what I have right now. So, our power is good. I'll say it's good, but um, it's not good yet. It'll be good a lot later game. It'll be a lot better later game. But at least I can do this for a little bit. Spam! But I can't do that forever because then I lose and I have to reset. So yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good early game. It is good early game. I will say that against some of these bosses, um, it really makes my life a little bit easier um, dealing with these stupid bosses that take forever. Spam. But if I had something better <laughs> early game, I could probably one shot these bosses like John could. Good. All right, so we have eight. So now we can learn all the blue skills. It's like that. We should unlock new items. Leap and regeneration, things like that. These will be nice for us. We don't need we don't need to use leap because we can fly, but it should be nice for us. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the defense route and we're just gonna get all these things. Shrink, heal, leap, feather fall, haste and slow, get swift swim. And now we have everything taken care of for the majority of the blue group um, here. We'll need to upgrade to the green group and we're gonna get more blue anyway from battling the next guy. We'll get frost, and is there anything else that I need? I, I never use gravity or bounce, so I never get them. But that should be it. And uh, drown, why not? We could get watery grave, but I don't care. All these things are fine. This will help us uh, to better increase ourselves. Slow, for one, that should help with enemies. Um, we can always speed up with haste, so we'll become super freaking fast. God, more lightning, Jesus. Regeneration's fine, we can shrink our enemies, which is also pretty cool. 
Um, and that'll have to be it. Yeah, for now, on that on that front, um, we're going to have to fight the next boss to get our upgraded armor piece. But before that, I forgot to show you something. Um, back here, uh, so as you know, Ars Magica requires the majority of, of, of four different plants to make work. Um, you need Desert Novas, you need the, you need, uh, you need Oms, you need the Tarma Root, and you definitely need the Sarah Blossom. This is basically just, uh, these plants are just how you make many different items. Um, if we come over to here, uh, many items like the Crystal Wrench, a lot of different other items, and holy crap, we have so many miniature hearts. Jesus. So, what are we gonna work on now? That's right, we need to set up a boss arena for our new buddy. And I think the boss arena will go... That's actually toughy. I have no idea where I want to put this boss arena. Um, right here. Yeah, we'll put the boss arena in this room. And now we can summon the boss. To summon the boss, we're going to need emeralds. We're going to need, I think, blue topaz. And then we're also going to need shimmerite. We do not have infinite of these, so we have, do have to be careful. Now let's go ahead and battle this guy. One, two, three. And there he spawns. This is the Earth Guardian. Now I would like him to hit me because I want to see how my armor goes up against him. Work. There it is. There it is. Look at that. No damage. Not a single bit of it. Get the Red Morning Star does. Look, this is. All right, look at this. See? This is what the Red Morning Star does. Nothing. Look at that. It does like, actually it does like one two hundredth of his entire body. That's what it does. Now if I hit him with the lightning blast, you can see it does a lot more. It does not much, but it does more. So we'll, so we'll just hit him with this. The idea is that you keep him in the corner, like so. And you just keep him in the corner over and over again, and you don't let him out of your sight. He's going to throw blocks at us, but then again, it, it doesn't hurt us anyway. So we just beat him. And, like I said, we get ourselves another blue infinity point. But we didn't get the armor piece, which is very sad. So we have to fight him again until we get the armor piece. We have to keep doing this. Forever. <laughs> Alright, this time we got Earth Essence, which is also very useful. Well, we didn't get the armor plate, so we're gonna have to do this one more time. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? You're joshing me. I didn't get it again? Oh, come on. Again? All right, where the hell are you? Are you out here? You hit, you, you falling over the sides? No, okay. We just have just terrible RNG. But we're getting blue points, so that's cool. And we, I have to read through all these. All right, so this is going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here, and I'm going to off camera just as, as hard as I can just get this, this item. It's just going to take a very long time, and we should get reach level 12 by then. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed. And also, make sure to subscribe. Subscribing really helps me grow my channel and really helps me create more videos. Um, right now I'm doing college, so it's hard for me to actually do videos. But with your help, I can continue. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.